Last year, I said that revisiting the conventions of the Zelda series would be our theme for the new Zelda game for Wii U. However, before I get into that, let me talk about something that I needed to help to realize this ambition. In fact, it's something that we've wanted to do for a long time in the Legend of Zelda series, and so development began with this as our focus. In the earlier releases of the Legend of Zelda games, players got to explore a wide area, scrolling up, down, left, and right. However, after the game transitioned to 3D and the hardware continued to evolve, it became harder to create that feel of being in a vast world. For example, in Wind Waker, we used various techniques to create a wide world where you could freely explore many isolated islands. But it was very hard to create one large world where everything felt connected. We had to design small, bounded areas with a defined entrance and exit. And putting them all together made it feel like you were playing in a large world. But you still couldn't cut through the boundaries wherever you like to explore that world. Today, I'd like to talk to everyone about the latest Zelda game for Wii U. But first, please take a look at how the game looks on screen. This is the new world of Zelda. It's quite a vast world, isn't it? You can even reach those mountains in the distance if you walk far enough. We couldn't create such a wide world like this in the past. As far as what you can do with such a vast field to explore, as soon as those boundaries are removed, it means you can enter any area from any direction. So the puzzle solving in this game begins the moment the player starts to think about where they want to go, how they will get there, and what they will do when they arrive. This is a clean break from the conventions of past games in the Zelda series, where you had to follow a set path and play through the scenario in the right order. I believe this departure will create opportunities for new games gameplay that have not been experienced in previous Zelda games. As you can see, and as you know from the Zelda series, the world in these games can be quite peaceful. However, it is a Zelda game after all, so strong enemies will certainly appear, even in this setting. Powerful enemies appearing in such a peaceful world is one of the defining features of the Zelda series. I think that one convention we can keep right 